the tradition of gift giving and unwrapping. In seven days, the disc keeper will be on a private island two hours off the coast of Belize, unwrapping himself from the bounds of long pants and shirts. Oh. Today, he returns to pass some wisdom on the subject he knows extremely well. Drink in lessons on surviving regrettable moments. And today's speech could very well change your life, so listen up. <laughs> this is me, on many an occasion, and I suspect it's probably you. Is there anyone here who can raise their hand and say, I've never been a jackass? I've never yeah. been a jackass. I seriously <laughs> doubt it. <laughs> In fact, I think you need one particular for this <laughs> that we do make mistakes. We say things that we shouldn't. This is inevitable. And to make things worse, we have this incredible brain that acts like a lifetime storage system so that you can relive painfully every jackass moment of your life. If you're human, if you're not a zombie or a person of diminished capacity, you experience two things when you've been a jackass, remorse and regret. And they're the, the ghosts, the specters that, that haunt the mind and steal your joy. Because you've experienced them every time you think about that jackass moment. And some of us wear remorse and regret until it's like an old shoe. Does anyone know what this is? I have one. You do? <laughs> Bring out to the Christmas part. This is called a cat of nine tails. But instead, I would like you to forever remember them under these new names, remorse and regret. These are the tools of self-flagellation, not to be mistaken with flagellation. <laughs> to be unfortunate in a room of this size. <laughs> I want you from now on, whenever you start to self-flagellate after you've been a jackass, to think carefully and calmly, I am only human. I am only human and I forgive myself. I have a little decree for you, it's called Reed's Decree of PPP. <laughs> it says people, pursue perfection, but don't expect it, because expectation while lovely, generally leads to disappointment. If you expect little and get much, you'll be that much happier. And while we strive for perfection, it is really quite unattainable. I hope you'll agree. Take your own advice. Now, some of us are great <laughs> advice givers. <laughs> I missed that. We'll move on. Some of us are great advice givers, and it's unfortunate that we don't take our own advice. We have such easy access to the wisdom of the ages now. The internet gives us, and books give us, the, the wisdom of thousands of years of human history and knowledge. The Bible, for example, in Philippians 3 says, I could not myself 
I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Other adages that you all know that have been passed down verbally through the years include things like a coward dies a thousand deaths, a brave man only one. Now this is meant to talk about opportunities that you did not take. However, I think it's very poignant in the case of being a jackass because when you're a jackass and you relive that moment over and over, you're dying a thousand deaths. Let it pass. Accept that the moment happened and move on. I may not want, may not be who I want to be, but I'm sure as heck not who I was. That's a Joyce Meyer quote, if I'm not mistaken. Brilliant speaker. And this, this was a woman who recognized she wasn't a very nice person back in her early days. And it took her a long period to evolve and grow and put her jackass moments behind her. If you're looking behind you, how can you see where you're going? My grandfather, Ted Rena, he said this a lot. And it frustrated me to no end that when I asked him about the past when he was 93 years old, I wanted to learn about the past, he couldn't tell me because he wouldn't look back. He only looked forward. This is my friend Morgan Marlowe. She, uh, this isn't my actual friend Morgan Marlowe, but my, my real friend Morgan Marlowe is 40. And this Morgan Marlowe I could go to jail for being friends with. <laughs> she, and I, she and I were talking on Skype the other day, and she was telling me, we're a little blue, you know, business is difficult, there's competitive forces, it's a lot of work. And I said to her, Morgan, stop what you're doing. Put down your pen. Go to the whiteboard in your office and write down everything you've accomplished in the last four years. Because I know it's a lot. So my new motto is, don't self-flagellate, congratulate. From now on, when I have a jackass moment, I'm going to go to my whiteboard, and I'm going to write down all the, the things that I don't do anymore, because I'm not who I used to be. I want each of you right now to commit to each other in front of Toastmaster 6193 that remorse and regret are a thing of your past, and, that, and I want you to say with me right now, I will congratulate, not flagellate. Everybody, right now. <laughs> I will congratulate, congratulate, not flagellate. People pursue perfection and have a great Christmas. Thank you.